Spartan Kid Outdoors family, what the heck is going on? It's been a minute, hasn't it? It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. It hasn't been a minute since I've been fishing. I've actually been fishing quite a bit. And today, you know, I was just out and about checking out some new spots. Uh, I found this one right here. This is actually right up the street from my house. And you know, I was thinking, man, what a perfect day to drink a nice, nice cold soda or even a beer for some of you guys out there that are over 21. What a nice day to enjoy a beer or a soda. Enjoying the sun, sitting by the water. And then I was like, man, what a good day to go fishing. But one problem, we don't have a fishing rod. We don't have a reel. We don't have anything like that. We just so happen to have this nice little bottle and a little bit of Mexican ingenuity is what I like to call it. I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can create your own makeshift fishing rod slash reel and still be able to go fishing in the event that you're out with your family and you forgot to bring your gear. Let's scarf this thing down and I'll show you exactly what we need to do. Not easy chugging sodas. All right, we got our rod slash reel makeshift thing. Let's show you guys that we're gonna rig this up. Now that you got your bottle, you're gonna need some good old handy dandy fishing line. And use whatever knot you feel comfortable doing. I am probably gonna use an improved fisherman's knot just because you can cinch it down onto the bottle. I'll tell you what, this is harder than tying on a crankbait. Here we go. There he is. That's holding pretty firm right there. Perfect. So an improved fisherman knot is gonna work pretty good for your initial line tie around the bottom. Tag end off here. Perfect. Cut that off. And now, you're just gonna feed your desired amount of line on here. Uh, the gear ratio on this uh, bottle is uh, a solid one to one to one get enough line on there too so that when you get a fish and it takes off running you got enough line to give it all right let's go ahead and nip this off right here perfect and there is your bottle all right guys, now that we got our bottle rigged up, now it's time to pick what you're gonna rig it up with. I am probably gonna throw a weightless wacky because that's what they're hitting on out here right now. So I'm gonna throw a weightless wacky, but you can tie on whatever you want. You can tie on a Texas rig with a beaver bait at the end of it, with a craw, with whatever you want. A crankbait if you're willing to, to pull and, and wind it up, whatever you guys wanna rig up. I'm gonna keep it simple, I'm gonna do maybe i'll do a weighted wacky let's do a weighted wacky and there's actually a fish that just kind of splashed around over here so let's stop talking and get this rigged up all right guys let's rig this sucker up pick the windy day to be out here trying to fish with no uh no backbone to be able to cast out but here's our rig right here so there's our bottle there's our wacky let's get to fishing it all right Let's make our maiden cast. So I think I'm gonna do like a helicopter style cast here. Didn't cast super far, not gonna lie. Let's move down the bank line a little bit and see if we can't find anything over there. I was here last weekend, last Sunday I wanna say to be exact, and I was smacking some fish, so I know they're here. I was hitting them on the crankbait though, so we may have to switch it up to some kind of a moving bait. Here we go. We're gonna do the, if you guys have a better way of casting this than this, comment down below if you guys try this. Oh, that's not gonna work. We do have to do it the other way. Hoo-wee, you 
you see that cast on there, <laughs> boy? So I may have spooled up the wrong way here. So I'm having to adjust my cast in here. And then and then flipping back over to the way I spooled up here. Alright, here we go. No way, no way. Do I have a fish, really? Nah. Whew. Yeah, I do. No way. No way. Is that a little bluegill? That's a big old bluegill. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Stay, stay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh my God. No, stop, stop, stop. Stop. We'll get you out of here. We'll get you released. What the heck? Is this a warm mouth? I've never caught a warm mouth before. No way. We got a fish. Look at this thing. No. <laughs> we got a fish, guys. <laughs> on the rig too it's stuck on a branch right there but let's let this guy go oh my gosh no way we got a fish here we go go be free friend you gotta get out from under there bub i don't know what kind of fish that was it looks like a bluegill but like i don't do you guys know what kind of fish that was that's a crazy looking fish like I've heard of a fish to here that's called a warmouth. I've never caught one before, but it kind it kind of also looked like a bluegill. But I don't know. Do you guys know what kind of fish that was? If so, let me know. But dude, we got a fish right off the get. That's insane. All right, let's uh, let's put the big camera down. Let's keep fishing. That's that's awesome. Oh my gosh. Let, let's keep going. No freaking way. No freaking way. I don't even know what species fish that was either. That was a weird looking fish. I, I don't think that was a bluegill. If so, it was a slaunchy bluegill. That was a little different, but its scales were, its scales were different. It doesn't, it didn't feel, I don't know. If you guys know what fish that is and I'm just being a, a dummy and just don't know my species of fish, you guys let me know. Well guys, as you can probably tell, I am no longer on the water. But we're getting ready to go back out. Yesterday was kind of interesting. Got that one warm mouth. I looked it up. It was a warm mouth. Got that one warm mouth. Check out this key real quick, by the way. Got that one warm mouth. Switch spots. Got nothing else. Met, met, a cool, met, a, met a cool guy named JR. Showed me a couple spots that I should try which we're going to, probably not today, but we're gonna try them. And uh, caught a whole lot of nothing. So we're going back out to the to the car dealership pond right now and seeing if we can't smack another warm mouth or two because I'll take it and we'll wrap up this video. Let's get on the water and catch some fish. We lost today, guys and gals, we lost. I was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready to go, ready to catch some fish, but uh, the fish were not ready to be caught. There was a whole lot of this going on, and not a whole lot of catching fish. We tried m several other spots, and it was just not happening for me. I even busted out the traditional rod and reel and didn't get any fish today but that's the name of the game sometimes i'm gonna call this i'm gonna call this a half successful video just because we did catch that one war mouth shout out to that war mouth man that uh that fish is going down in the history books of making this video <laughs> so shout out to that fish um other than that terrible 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 failure of trying to complete this challenge but 
If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a lot more fun videos. And for those of you guys that have been with me since the beginning, you guys know that. It's been a while since I've uploaded a fishing video, but there's a ton more to come. Uh, this weekend's gonna be just jam-packed to fishing, so we're gonna be filming a lot more. Again, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And we will catch you guys on another episode of Spartan Kid Outdoors. We'll see you guys later.